berapa harga outfit lo? Like right now? Yeah. Oh shit. Socks. Just regular white socks. <laughs> Halo guys, nama aku Warren Hugh and welcome to USS Feeds. Gua seorang musisi in the label Idea Rising. Di sini gua akan menjawab apapun yang ada di question box dari Instagram USS Feeds. Let's do it. At Hikma Pendi's response, Warren kalau catatan pernah nanya udah makan belum? Usually not really. I don't know. Like I don't really say that to like my girl that much that often. I should though. I say it to my mom mostly and my family. Next question. At diary underscore scholars response, teman SD paling baik is this guy named Ariel. He's been with me since like grade one, basically, and we're still friends until now. And I love him. At I am Radit 27's response, karena Warren pinter gambar, kenapa nggak buat brand fashion juga? Aku sih lagi mau explore different types of fabrics and like understand the world of fashion first before I get into it. I love fashion so much, but kayaknya gua belum ready. Right now, I'm just making a lot of merch, and a lot of people are fucking with it. So, thank you guys so much for the appreciation on that. But I will, maybe next year, in two years' time. Kapan pertama kali merasa berpotensi dalam dunia musik? Um, aku umur 16 kayaknya when I found out that I was like, oh shit, this could actually work. Gua rilis album Sugar Town. At the time, kayaknya Rich Brian was like liking my photo for Candy Chopper and I was like, holy shit, that's like crazy already. So I just kept on going and it motivated me more to be confident. Yes. Udah punya pacar, Mas? Yes, I'm in a happy relationship and I love her and she's my best friend. Say hi or just mention to this account at Flora BC Def. Being a fan sama Warren. Thank you for being a fan. I appreciate you. Hope you do well in life and I uh, hope you're healthy all the time. At Flora. At Liano's brains, berapa harga outfit lo? Like right now? Yeah. yeah. Oh shit. This is. I think I got this like 2018 or something. It's Marnie. Damn, I don't remember. 12 juta or 13? Silk shirt. These pants, local brand or something. I don't know, like a thrift shop or somewhere. It's probably like 1,5 2 juta maybe. Socks. Just regular white socks. <laughs> Maybe 50-an. The shoes, like an old season Balenciaga. And it's like 15 kayaknya. Or 16, I don't remember. Yeah, that's my. At Nafis Baldan's response. Itu lagu-lagunya terinspirasi dari mana atau dari siapa? Most of my songs are usually kayak inspirasi from life itself. Aku tulis like either on the day or like maybe like a week before. Gua sih inspirasi from Tyler the Creator. That's a big one. Even the way I dress sometimes. Like I think he's like super cool. Kanye, of course. Earl Sweatshirt's a big one also. Early on, Amine though, so shout out Amine. At Fikri Pradana's response. Doyan Seblak Gamas. Wait, what's that? No. I'm so uncultured. I'm so uncultured. Gua will try it in the future. I've never tried it before. I'm so sorry to all the Seblak lovers out there. Faraz's response. Uh, when you first started making music, how did you promote your stuff? I was like 14 and it started off with like YouTube. So like I was making a lot of YouTube videos growing up and I just kept on posting on Instagram like every day and like reposting fans' stories on my on my on my story basically. And I remember doing that for ages and tiap kali kayak I have a plan, a rollout plan and I would make it all myself gitu kayak cover arts or like, you know, everything in general. I would just like design myself. Kayak gua enggak pernah mau kayak beli ad gitu kayak for Instagram or like YouTube ads, I think that's like corny sometimes. So I just always like, you know, promote it myself. Basically 100% natural, so yeah. At mal underscore 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 underscores response. I don't know why, why you guys have a lot of underscores. Anak Jaksel apa bukan? I would say so. I feel like I'm an Anak Jaksel. I feel like, yes, I grew up in the South Side. Lu gak kangen nasi padang apa? Yes, I fucking do. Gak ada restoran sama sekali yang bisa mimic in the nasi padang here at all. The first, when I landed here the first week, knocked it out. Culture shock got pas to the US. Yes, there's like a little bit of culture shock, especially komunikasi kayaknya, with like people in the supermarket atau kayak, you know, random people in the street, or like even working. So kayak, you know, I'm new to like really having this like job and career, and I have to speak to kayak corporate people basically most of the time. Minta no Rich Brian. Um, 
I don't know if you'll allow me to do that, dude. <laughs> I'm s dude, he doesn't, you know, give away numbers. He's a really kind dude, though. I think you should ask him, though. Hubungan antar anggota ATR Rising itu gimana sih? Ya, for the first kayak empat bulan, gua masih di Jakarta. When I was signed with ADA Rising, we use like WhatsApp all the time, like every day. Sean is really nice in 88, number one person I speak to. And uh, we would just be like creative talks between each other. And yeah, everyone in 88 is very wholesome and nice. And like they, you know, make sure gua comfortable gitu. Okay, that's it. Hi, thank you udah nonton gua di USS Feeds. Jangan lupa buat dengerin album terbaru gua, Boy of the Year. And peace.